Today, no, not today, not today, for years, I will be showing you the journey of a true silver player reaching the rank of immortal. The purpose of this series is to show you by working deliberately and by having good mental, you can reach any rank you want. So for no further ado, let's get into these years worth journey. It's a lot. Of, it's going to be a while. It's going to be a while. Also, do not be afraid to send me feedback. Put the timestamp down. Tell me what I could have done better, what I've done great. Just let me know, bro. All right, let's get right into it. I am Silver 3. I am currently on a six game winning streak. And but you can also see that I was Silver 1 at this time. All right, so what we got to look out for is definitely Reina's Flash, Shova Dart, raises. They're going to probably raise off the bat, like the grenade off the bat. Be careful for those like swamp bombs or whatever the whatever the KJ does that puts that little bomb shit. Watch out for Ray's grenade off the bat. How do you know it's going to be a Ray's grenade? Huh? Are you wall hacking? Do you know what they're doing? Huh? You wall hacking? Is that it? Is that you wall hacking? Huh? You need to shut the fuck up! Yes, sir. Bitch, get out of here. Smoke him off, bro. Nice. I'm gonna get a heal. I'm gonna get a heal. I'm gonna get a heal. To your left, to your left, to your left. Oh, you're right. Oh, you're right. You're right. Oh, these kids are trolling. We did good. I think our crosshair flame was good. That fight against Raze, we could have done a lot better. I'm aware of that. I got to figure out what we have to do after that. And that's where I come in. I'm going to VOD review this as we go every episode. It looks like my crosshair was too close to the wall or too close to the angle that we're peeking. So I didn't have enough time to react, obviously. So maybe I should hold my angle a little bit farther away from the wall until i build and get used to like that type of reaction which as a silver player i'm not there yet so and farther away against the wall at least for right now as a silver player so so what i'm gonna do is smoke off right off the beginning watch over this over there oh that shit they call that shit boy 66 bro that's how his head somehow nice 66 on silver so it's like two, 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 two. Oh, three bolts are out. Damn. Oh, 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 they should probably fight that together. Probably fight that oh, together. Did, did, did. Nice, that was good. So there is a lot to dissect here. Good and bad. I love how I called out the raised grenade last round. That way my teammates starting out the round kind of have a sense of idea like, oh, this shit might be happening. Look at all of them scurry back which is good. They were ready. They were prepared. That's what I did. My communication prepared them for the future. There's a couple reasons why I loved how, you know, I just shot through the smoke. One, I see the bullet tracers coming at me. The smokes are closer to them, meaning that because I'm farther away from the smoke, there's more variation of where I could be compared to them, where the smoke is close to them. That way I have a idea of where they actually are my gun is suppressed they really don't know where i actually am so it was good just to throw shots like if you have a phantom or a specter it's really good to throw shots that way they don't know where you are still that, that's what i loved about the smoke play the reason why i lost the sova gunfight is because of gun hygiene and the reason why is because i have a specter i'm about 30 meters away from that sova there is no reason that i should be crouching down and shooting at this sova being a sitting duck for him with a specter i was looking at the stats where where, where do i get these stats right here from 15 to 30 where i'm approximately am maybe more right it could be 33 35 the headshot is 66 the body's only 20 too. so three bullets is going to give me what a headshot is i honestly should have just popped two to three shots move out of the way i could either fall back with my team which i eventually did as you saw or there's something that uh, after watching this that i could have done i realized i have one smoke what i could do is smoke the middle distance between me and him that way it separates us two and that way i could advance i could either go through the smoke or I could take a left and eventually fight the Rays. But that way, that distance, I have a better shot of killing him in the future because the distance will be much closer around there. And as far as the Rays fight goes, I had better distance, right? With the Spectre. I, it's a little bit better. But the only thing, as you will notice, is my first shot got screwed. I didn't sit still when I should have my first shot off the mark. One thing, 
I shouldn't be holding my crosshair this close to the smoke. I should be having a little distance because they're not going to see me right away. They're unprepared. They do not know where I am. I could have repositioned myself a little better here. I will admit that. My first shot was off regardless, but still, I have to stand still when I'm taking these gunfights. That way, my first bullet is on point every time. On to the next one. I'm gonna get more kills. I'm gonna be a little more aggressive. Oh, I'll take that. That shit. Nice. I really. That was a really good fucking move I just did. I think the uh, spot back there is fine, right? But I think it's very predictable. Um, looking back at it, but hey, we eventually got the play. The killjoy was trying to find us. We got him. Our first shot was off. Same thing as last round. I need to sit still when I'm shooting. Obviously the great play of just killing the KJ so my team can enter on site, which is beautiful. Only other critique of this round is just my crosshair placement. Looking back down, because I don't know where the rays or clove is. So I need to be prepared and not just autopilot and pretend this is Call of Duty. Yeah, good round, nothing really to complain. All good, pretty much. I gotta praise myself where I can be praised, so. That's what we love to do. So we had two of our teammates die right off the bat. I'm literally left alone on C. I know they can be entering anywhere, so I'm just gonna stick to C. I'm gonna hold down C. Eventually, I do hear two footsteps coming, so I know it's a C push, but I only hear one enter on site, which I thought was kind of crazy. So I hear him plant. I see a little, a little peak of him. I shot what body parts I could. I threw a displace towards stairs just because that's the only place I thought he could be. He could also be in cubby waiting for my teammate right there in that general area. He still could be on site, but I just didn't hear him. In order to combat that, I put a smoke and teleported into it. That way he couldn't see me and I was more stealthy that way. And then teammates saw him on stairs, which confirmed that he was on stairs. So it was basically a 33% shot where he was. So, but yeah, that was the final round. We eventually won 13 to two. I went seven and eight. So most of the kills you saw today they were all the kills I had. I do think what this gameplay tells me, I need to really be cognizant of my crosshair placement. I think it's too close to the wall and I definitely need to space it out. That way I can react to certain stuff. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this, what I could do better, or if you learned anything new about your own gameplay or anything you could take away. I do appreciate y'all. More variety games coming out soon, more Valorant videos coming out soon. Until next time, guys.